Alright, so you came here to know how to add numbers, um, which you probably already know, but whatever. What you really want to know is how computers add numbers, because no one actually does that anymore. Yay. So, most logic is made of the very aptly named logic gates. Uh, the two simplest ones are AND and OR, which just tell you whether both inputs are on, or whether one of the inputs are on, is on. And then there's also the NOT gate, which just flips the value, and then XOR, which tells you if one of the inputs is on, but not both. There's also, just for convenience's sake, inverted versions of the AND and OR gates called NAND and NOR, where you just do the AND and or the OR, and then you just flip the output. And what's great is that both of these, but people use NAND because of various technical reasons, um, is that you can build any logic gate you want out of just a bunch of NAND gates. It's not actually that useful, but it's kind of fun and saves me some effort. So, the first step is to just be able to add two digits, which might give you a carry, because that's how adding works. So, what we do, the way we do this is we just have an XOR gate, because the sum of two binary numbers, which are just going to be ones and zeros, one plus one is zero, and then you carry the one. So, we just want to use an XOR gate here. It's with our Either input is true, but not both. And then the carry, you just use a normal AND gate because only if you do like one plus one do you get a carry. And so that's what we would call a half adder. But since we have a carry out, we also want to be able to have carries ins, carry ins, and that takes another half adder, which we can just chain together like this, just like when you have carries, you just add you just do another addition to add the carry. And then now we have two carry outs, so we can just combine them using an OR gate. Because if either the carry leads to a carry, or actually just adding the digit in the first place leads to the carry. In either case, we'll, we'll generate a carry. And so this whole thing is called a full adder, and we're not quite there yet because we want to be able to add more than one digit, but that's really easy. You just do the same thing you've done in elementary school, which is you start with a half adder because you don't have a carry in the beginning, and then you just have the carry out, go to a full adder's carry in, and then the carry out goes to a carry in, and so on. You make this big chain as long as you need. And this is called a ripple adder. Um, the problem with ripple adders is that they're very slow, because if you can imagine, you have to wait for the signal to propagate all the way through the entire thing. Because, you know, technically, yes, a carry in the beginning could affect, could be carried all the way to the very end, to, from the first digit to the last digit. And so you have to wait for this huge, this whole chain to go through from the first digit to the last digit before you can be sure that it's actually finished. Which, in terms of like, normal speeds, this is like nanoseconds we're talking about, but if you're doing this billions of times a second, like in a processor, then it becomes pretty important not to have this kind of very, very slow adder. So if we think about this as a little bit different, like we can think of every little pair of digits can do one of two things. It can generate a carry. If both digits are true, then we have one plus one, you know, that's the case where we create a new carry. And if either digit is true, then it'll propagate a carry that comes in from the right. So you can think about only in the case where we have 0 plus 0, does that actually absorb a carry? Otherwise, it's capable of propagating it. And so we call these values G and P for generate and propagate. And what's really awesome is if we have two little, two little blocks of digits, or maybe they're just single digits, whatever, whatever they are, that can either generate a carry, propagate, or both. Whether or not the final, this whole system as a whole will propagate a carry, it's just whether both of them will propagate a carry, because the carry has to be propagated through both parts. And there's two cases in which this thing will generate a carry, the first of which is simply that the last one generates a carry. Or the first one could generate a carry, and then it's carried, it's propagated, sorry, by the second one. and this is just the logic for how we can break the problem up into little pieces. So we can say, okay, we have each digit can generate or propagate, now we can say each pair of digits, and then each pair of pairs of digits, quadruplet, you, you know what I mean. Right, and we can just build this big sort of tree-like structure, which importantly, there's now trees instead of lines, which means that it's two to the power of the number of gates that it has to go through, instead of just the number of gates that it has to go through. Right, so if you think about how many digits we can fit in here, we could fit four digits essentially with three of these little levels. Whereas with the ripple adder, 
we would need four, because you need one for each digit. And this is OK, but we still don't actually have any carry values to that. So we basically need to do the opposite thing, go in the opposite direction, and start of break up. So we accumulate it into a bunch of generated and propagate values going from smaller pieces to bigger pieces. Now we want to take the carry values and eventually want to get carries for every single digit. So we'll go the opposite way. And so if this whole thing can generate, if this whole thing is sort of interacting with a carry, is how I like to think about it. So there's a carry coming in from the right, because that's where the way that carries propagate, right? Carry coming in from the right. If this whole thing will interact with it, then we know the lower one will interact with it, because that's the first thing that's going to hit the carry is going to hit the lower one. It could also interact with the higher one in two cases, if the higher one generates a carry, or a carry comes in and is propagated by the lower one. So the GPU over here referred to the lower, or you know, mo rightmost sort of section. And we can do the same thing in reverse. We start with just zero, because we don't just like with the ripple adder, where you started with a half adder, it's because we don't have any carries initially. So we start with just zero, and then we you know, repeat this process to eventually get carries for every single digit. And now we can just combine those carries independently of all the other stuff. And that gives us the final final result. So we have this sort of structure where the carry logic is built off of trees, which makes it you know, really nice and efficient, and sort of separated from the addition logic, which is just XOR. So you can think of it the, the XOR because it's just like this, remember, it's just a sum digit from a half adder is the same thing. You can think of XOR as kind of like carry list addition. So we have carry list addition on one side, and then we just sort of do the carry separately in this sort of tree method. And so this is called a carry look ahead adder. Uh, they're pretty cool. They're not exactly what you'll probably find in a CPU because there are other slightly more fancy variants, but this is like the basis for a lot of those fancy variants. Variants, And it's, it's pretty fast. I just have some Python code to generate this stuff and to like generate the circuits for the adders out of NAND gates because why not? It makes it more fun. So you can see that it generates these big huge circuits for a certain depth. So this is a depth of three. And all of these NAND gates together, which is a lot of them, 220 will implement a carry look ahead adder. And we can even check to make sure that it actually works, which it seems to. Now, I was going to make some schematics, but I'm not sure I set up the software correctly, so we'll just have to have to see what it looks like.
全ての事も投げ知らない